Abby, you ready for finals week? Oh, um, uh, are you okay? I'm fine, feeling top of world. It looks like you've been crying. Me? Never. I'm not sad. Must go late for class. Uh, Abby, wait! What's with her? Oh. Ah. This is the time of year when all girls from Abby's village go through a challenge, the Himalayas. They survive off the land and pass various grueling physical and mental tests. Mm. Ha! And winner in your grills! This is the week, so that's why she's so sad. She couldn't go because of finals. Poor thing. Uh... Guya, please. That'll never work. Will it? Yes! I'll talk to Bloodgood. Oh, what a great surprise for Abby. Hey, ghouls. Want help for study of biology? Oh, sorry. We can't. Yeah, we have to go to the, the movies. Mall. The movies. Bye. Bye. Frankie, Draculaura. <sighs> <laughs> She's here! What is going on? Ta-da! We talked to Bloodgood, and you can fang out in the freezer for the week! Guya set up a webcam so you won't miss any class. We know it's not quite the Himalayas, but... Oh, wait! <laughs> Abby, you know, it's okay to tell us when you're sad. We're your friends. <gasps> Hey, Leaky, do you know how to arm wrestle? Yo, bro, what's going on? You know, digging. Romulus and I wanted to see if you wanted to catch the new scary rotter flick. Dude, I'm so there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, okay, Mom, I know. Sorry, guys, I can't go anywhere till I finish my chores. Stone Cold Bummer, man. <laughs> Uh-uh, no way. Oh, yes way. You need to learn to keep your paws off my stuff. You don't even wear that anymore. Why do you think you can just borrow my dress without asking? Um, because I look cuter in it. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. You got a lot of... Wow, must be tough living with two sisters who fight like that. You know, wolves, bro, always trying to establish dominance. My sisters can turn anything into a competition. Romulus, you're a genius. Guys, give me a ticket. I'll be done with my chores in an hour tops. Hey, sis, you seen Halloween? Why, did you borrow something else I don't know about? No, I just wanted to get some tips. I mean, everyone knows she's the best at doing laundry. Police, she is not the best. She said she was. Oh, I'll show her. I mean, I'm not as good as Claudine. She'd have the whole yard done in two minutes. Huh, I can do it in one. That's what she said. Give me that. She thinks that? Just watch me. Hey, Claude around? <laughs> My man. You ready to roll? Hey, Mom, I'm off to the movies. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All my chores are just about finished. See ya. Wait, he just... Oh! Claude, you are such a brother! I figured it out before you did. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, I did too. Oh, you in your dreams Give me you figured a it out. Way. Way. On this episode of MH True Monster Stories, Toralai Stripe. <laughs> Toralai Stripe, one of the most infamous students at Monster High. This werecat's vengeance strikes fear in the hearts of even the toughest Monster High students. <laughs> what makes this cantankerous kitty purr? To answer that, my friends, we must go back, all the way back to the beginning. Born the smallest of a litter of six, she had to fight for everything she got. <laughs> The entire litter was adopted. Oh, Scarold, how adorable! All of them, except Toralai. Toralai learned quickly. She survived using only her wit, speed, and cunning. But time eventually catches up with everyone. <laughs> she wound up where a lot of kitties from the street did. The pound. It was here where she met her werecat sisters, Persephone and Meowlity. Together, they would rule this place with an iron paw. 
The key is to find out who runs things, and then show them who's boss. <laughs> things might have stayed that way forever, had a certain benevolent headmistress not stepped in. Ladies, I run a school called Monster High, a place where you can learn and grow. I think you belong there. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. But as happy as Torilai was to be at Monster High, you can't teach an old cat new tricks. Okay, same rules apply. We find out who runs things, then we show them who's boss. After that, we ghouls will rule the school. So who is Torilai? My friends, we may never know for sure. This has been... M.H. True Monster Stories. Well, what do you think? Are you kidding? I love it! Ah! Guya, we're going for smoothies during free period. Want to join us? Deuce is buying. I am? I mean, yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, Emra, <laughs> you're not too busy. You're just sitting there on your computer like you do every day. Oh. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Busy, please. Ah! Gulia, I don't know what to do. I need to get my hair done for the big superintendent's party tonight, but I'm swamped with paperwork. <laughs> Thank you, Gulia. I look fabulous. <laughs> yes, Nightmare. You're pretty, too. Is yours now? Crikey! It's freezing! I don't know how, but it's perfect. Spectra, when's the new ghostly gossip blog coming out? Sorry, the Wi-Fi is out. No <gasps> word on when it's gonna be fixed. Busy at all. You're in the exact same spot. Yeah. It's not like the school is going to fall apart if you take a break, you know. <laughs> this necklace is scary gorgeous. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? Claude got it for me. Oh, can I try it on? Okay, just be careful. Oh, oh no, it's in the deep end. I am so sorry. I'll get it back, I promise. Oh, you don't understand. It's in the deep end. It's gone forever. Hush, hush. What's all this about? The deep end. I dropped Draculaura's necklace down there, but but I'm gonna get it back. No one, no one goes in the deep end. Why is everybody acting so weird about the deep end? Uh, the deep end. <laughs> Frankie, the pool at Monster High is the deepest in the world. No one knows what lurks way down under there. Well, I'm going in. I caused this mess and I'm gonna fix it. You don't have to do this. I'll just tell Claude that... that <laughs> I lost it! No, no, no. I'm gonna make this right. If you're going, I'm going with you. I don't get what all the fuss is about. The deep end is kind of nice. Look at this flower. It's not a flower. Swim! <laughs> Wait! He went in here! He's got a whole pile of stuff. Hey, you! Give me that back! Frankie, it's not worth it! Frankie! Don't you know not to mess with a monster with bolts? Now give me that necklace! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! By working together, we conquered our fears and did the whole school a favor. See? Oh, 
Sweet! My T97X4 calculator! Aw, I thought I'd never see you again, baby! Take a flyer. Vote for Glory. I won't let you go to waste. Hey, don't be a loser. Be a reuser. Sort compostable food stuff. Plastic, cans. We all win when you choose the right bin. Uh, it's too much trouble. Keith, be a good sport. Think and take a moment to sort. Recycling is so uncool. Recycling is what? It's so cool. Huh. One down. Only 6.7 billion to go. <sighs> Hello, old friend. If there was only a way I could tell everyone how important this is to our survival. I don't know how to be hurt. I hear ah. you just fine, Venus. Can't you use your power of, you know... Power of pollen persuasion. Yes, to make the people learn. With my power, I can only influence one monster at a time. Our planet is in trouble. We need someone with influence. We need... <gasps> Cleo! You're the coolest ghoul in school. If you lead, they will Follow. It's a talent. But I don't know. I can't be seen picking through trash. It's not trash. It's recyclables. To change the way people think, you'd have to make it cool, stylish. Sounds like a fashion show. Welcome to the first annual Monster High All Recycled Completely Renewable Fashion Show. From trash to fash, Ghouls look cool while they save the planet. You can too, so recycle, reuse, and renew. Let's hear it for the ghouls. I learned something. Who thought that could happen at school? We did great today. We sure did. <laughs> I was talking to you. I was so embarrassed. Detention. I didn't even know what I did. You guys, too? Yes, Miss Stein. You and your friends have detention. What did we do? One of you is responsible, and you will remain incarcerated until I get a confession. So, Miss Denial, you're hiding something. Confess. Fine. It was me. That stupid idol cursed my pizza. See? <laughs> <laughs> that is not the crime I was talking about. Next. I did it. No way. Oh, you good. Go on. Oh, I just love these perfume samples. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's not it. Next. Well, I only did it because Mr. Heck was going to dissect those poor innocent froggies. No. Next. Telling the truth, my brother did eat my homework. No! Was it because I burned that book? No. Burned my locker? No. The bathroom, the theater, the pool? No, no, and no! Wait, how did you burn a pool full of water? <laughs> it was an accident. No! And then he was all like, you know, and I was all like, whatever, and he was like, for real? I have no idea what you're saying, but no. Someone is guilty. One of you took my glasses, and I demand to know who. Those glasses? Oh, um, yes. You're free to go. Finally. I knew we didn't About do anything. Time. Wait, my fountain pen. One of you. In your pocket. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no! You here to watch Slow Mo and Dawn of the Dead play dodgeball? Uh huh. Mm, you. Romulus, you're with us. <laughs> I'll take Jackson. Yes, not last. <laughs> you are last, Normie. No way I'm gonna let a zombie be on my team. <sighs> what do you want? Why won't you let them play? Zombies are terrible at dodgeball. See? <laughs> Zombies should stick to what they're good at, attracting flies and going slowly from place to place. <laughs> you and the zombies versus us? You're on. Winner gets to be permanent team captain, and that will be me. <laughs> and I thought you were supposed to be smart. 
It's great that you're sticking up for your blokes, but if they win, no zombie will ever be chosen for dodgeball. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you zombies stink! <laughs> I'm turning up the air! Full blast! <sighs> you're a genius! Ready to lose, losers? Crash and burn! What are you waiting for? <laughs> you stink worse than I thought. This is fun. I can't believe we lost to zombies. They're gonna be picking teams for the rest of high school. Have never been to slumber party before. Ah, uh, slumber parties are the best. Sometimes we just need to stay up all night and catch up. And give each other makeovers. And do each other's toenails. And talk about toys! Aren't you forgetting gargoyles to gargoyles? What is this gargoyles to gargoyles? Cleo's favorite party game. We play it every time we stay over. I happen to be undefeated. Three, four, five. Diabolical demon card. Ooh. Lose 500 points. You're out. I am? Yay! I mean, woo! I think I'm going to go into the bathroom and cry. <laughs> A mountain troll ruins your hair and makeup before school pictures. Claudine's out. Oh, well, I better go in the other room before I make a scene. You know, you still have one card that you can play. Right! I have a double trouble card, which means I can take any opponent out with me. And I choose Frankie. Oh, dang. I guess it's just you and me, Abby. Your move. Looks like you've stumbled into the fire pools of... Moment, please. I have royal reversal card. We trade places. You are now in pools of fire. What? How? I, I, I don't... Uh, can we call a quick timeout? This was good move, no? We love gargoyles to gargoyles, but Cleo is super competitive. A better move is to let Cleo win. What point of playing game if you just let her win? A cave orc trolls social network, lose a turn. A couture wizard curses your closet, go back five spaces. A wood nymph hex your phone, lose 1,000 points. It is over, you are out, I win. Oh, my raw! Finally! A worthy competitor! We're playing this game all night! Oh, let's, let's do this! Three, two, one. I can't believe we get to go to Monte Scarlo! I hear that little old place is crawling with Monsterazzi! I cannot wait to get there and just... Achoo! Frankie Star, if you're sick, you may not attend the class tree. Don't worry, Mr. Rotter. There's no way I'm getting sick. <laughs> oh, man. Nobody get near her. If you catch what she's got, no Monte Scarlo. Sorry, Frankie. I can't risk missing. <laughs> oh, Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> what are you so happy about? I'm thinking about all the fun I'm gonna have on the trip without you. The bus is leaving in 15 minutes. Must hurry. Drivers want to go. You better get back on the bus before you catch it, too. I laugh at this notion. Ha! Huh, I do not get sick. Monsters in my village very hearty. There's got to be some kind of cure. Goya, find anything yet? Monster thistle? Oh, my dad told me it grows in the catacombs. We just need someone to go find it. I know this plant, but has one side effect. Just go! Oh, there is monster thistle! Finally! Jeez Louise! Abby's not going to make it. Too bad, because I'm going to have a fantastic time. No, we're not sick anymore. I feel better. Achoo. You said you don't get sick. Allergic to monster thistle. 
That is side effect. Achoo! The buses haven't left yet. Come on! No! Monte Scarlo! Monsterati! Monster High. Big school, big problems. There's a thousand different stories in a place like this. That's where I come in. Name's Spectra. I report the news. The truth is always out there. And I'm the slick sister that'll find it. I've been in this racket longer than I can remember. And I thought I'd seen it all. Until he walked into my life. I knew this flame fatale was trouble the minute I saw him. Hiya, handsome. Got a light? Name's Burns. Heath Burns. I need your help, Spectre. I'm in a pickle jar and I can't eat my way out, see? What's the rumpus? You heard about the missing statue? Huh, of course I heard. I'm getting flim-flammed here, doll. What do you say? Will you take the case, prove me innocent? Bloodgood's gonna throw me out of school if you don't. Sure, kid. The evidence all pointed in one fire-hot direction. Information was tough to come by. It seemed there wasn't a monster at this school that hadn't been wronged by Heath Burns in some way or other. That's when it hit me. Go right to the top. I suppose you're wondering why you're all here. Why yeah. yeah. Yes, Spectra, you're playing us for a bunch of rubes. We all know Heath took the statue. His burn marks are all over it. Each and every person in this room had reason to frame the flame. Like you, Frankie. Isn't it true Heath burned your biology homework last week? How'd you feel? Mad. I swear, sometimes I could just... I see. And you, Torolai, didn't Heath splash water on you right before the school pictures? Claude and Deuce, how many times has Heath embarrassed you at the mall? And didn't you guys tell him that he was going to be sorry? But we didn't mean... Every one of these students had cause for framing Heath. So who did it? Hello? Statue cleaners. Oh, here it is. Blow torches. Monday's fine. Everyone's free to go. Isn't that the way it always goes? Seems like the whole world wants to see a burn. And the next, you're free as a sparrow without a care. That's life in Monster High for you. The name's Spectra, and I report the news. Hey, Operetta. Hey there yourself, Honeycomb. You're in a good mood. I just won me a contest to meet my favorite opera singer, Christian the Von Hammerstone. That's oh, awesome. Sweet. And how are you planning on comporting yourself when you meet? Well, I reckon I'd just be myself. I just thought perhaps you wouldn't want to embarrass yourself. Embarrass myself? Crescenda von Hammerstone is a huge star. She's regal. Everything I am and you're not. Golly, I don't want to make a darn fool out of myself. I will help you become an elegant lady of refinement. Smells delicious. Please demonstrate the proper way to eat this dish. Oh, that'll be plum easy. <laughs> First of all, it was a trick question. A lady never eats biscuits and gravy. Well, I love them. <laughs> as a nine-headed hydra in a room full of guillotines. Don't be. I've trained you to be an elegant, sophisticated lady. Miss Von Hammerstone, it's an honor to... Uh... Call me Crescenda. Really? Oh, yeah, you ain't gotta put on no airs. Just be yourself. Hey, do I detect a bit of New Gaulians in that accent? Narlston. I got family up in Narlston. We probably know a mess of the same monsters. What? They like biscuits and gravy. Oh, my God. Your daddy was the phantom? Criminy. He was my first vocal coach. Ooh. Oh, monster, monster.